from the back of a back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. When I come home, it's game time. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. It's not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, those of you uh, who've been listening this week know that uh, I was a victim of a, of a crime this past week. A crime that was caught on tape. Now, because the video is in a proprietary format, it's going to take a little figuring out to figure out how to put it on our website in a way that you can view it. And we are working on that right now. I'd like you to see it. God damn, I'd love you to see it. But um, I have been talking to the LAPD detectives, those of you who have been looking for updates on this. I've been talking to the LAPD detectives. They've got the video. They've got information about one particular suspect. But uh, I'm going to up the ante a little bit. I'm going to make it a little easier on the police department. Because I am certain that somebody who would urinate on somebody else's property, especially the property of a quasi-famous individual such as myself, has probably been bragging about it to friends and family members. That same person also stole all my poinsettia plants, and you can clearly see it in the video. So, in advance of my posting this video, I'm going to offer a $1,000 reward right now for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of this person. The person who urinated on my front doorstep this past Saturday, the 15th of December. And that same person who stole my poinsettia plants... If you know this person, contact me. You can call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Or you can email me at tom at blowmeuptom.com. Indeed, that's right. Whopperator is standing by right now. Take your call. And um, we're going to find out who this is. And I am going to prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. And you could be my assistant in this matter. Now, I know that somebody out there knows who did this. And is your friendship with that person worth $1,000? Let's find out. Do you like the friendship, or could you use a little extra spending money in time for the holidays? I will dash you off a check for a grand right now if you can give me the name and address of that person and it leads to their arrest and conviction. So it's that simple. You call me here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And uh, you give us your tip. You can also email the tip in to tom at blowmeuptom.com. You will remain anonymous. I will hand the information over to a detective with LAPD Hollywood. And then we will see if we can catch this individual. Somebody knows who peed on my front door. Somebody out there knows who did it. Somebody knows who stole my poinsettia plants here during the holiday season. 
Look at those phones ringing there, Dean. Don't pick them up. <laughs> Just let those ring. Probably one of them on there has the uh, has the answer. <laughs> phones all started ringing. <laughs> Just let those ring. <laughs> Uh, yes, Gene will get to all of you when he gets around to it. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on this. Yes, I will. When there's news. Some days there'll be nothing to tell, so don't call me every day and ask. But, uh, if you do know who did this, there's a thousand bucks in it for you. One thousand dollars for the information leading to the arrest and conviction of this person. One thousand smackers I mean I'm the wrong person to do this to okay because I will use all means at my disposal to find you and when I find you I will use all means at my disposal that are legal to convict you and that's going to make life very difficult for you uh, because darling this is grand theft Now, what is your opinion about this, Jake? What are you saying? Hey, come on, cheap guy. A thousand dollars? Maybe you should. A thousand bucks? To... Come on, maybe five grand. Come on, the value the value of the merchandise is less than a thousand bucks. Are you kidding me? You're you're stinking rich. What's a thousand bucks, uh, pal? If you do, if you don't have the information that this is none of your goddamn business, you Christine understand? A cheap. Yep. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> All right, I'll offer $10 million to the first person to go. How stupid is that? The cost of the merchandise stolen and the cost of cleanup, cleanup and repair is less than the amount of the reward. So at that rate, it's a pretty generous reward. We're not talking about a murder or a kidnapping here. <laughs> I love how jealous people are about how much money I have. It's ridiculous. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I think it's very interesting, you know, to prosecute this person and take away their law career and everything. But why? I think it would be a little more fun for you to kind of create your own little gauntlet and put out a, a gesture of kindness to this person and let them know. If they want to come to your house and apologize and go through these steps that you've predefined, that you will not prosecute them, such as licking your front patio from corner to corner <laughs> and possibly licking other areas of your house where you use restroom <laughs> and videotaping that and putting it on your website, <laughs> I think would be priceless. Well, I think somebody who's looking forward to a law career would not want to be videotaped uh, licking anything uh, or anyone. Well, their law career is about done uh, anyway, so you're giving them an opportunity to make amends for right. what they've done. Exactly. So I think you should think about it. I think it could be a, a fun uh, a fun event for us. Well, I'll give that some thought, uh, Mike. Let me uh, let me see how I feel about that. Right now, though, I just want to catch this person, and I'm offering a grand if uh, you know this person's name. Thousand bucks. I'll write the check. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Good, good, man. Hey, uh, I mean, come on, brother. Haven't you ever done that when you were a kid? Have you ever gone and toilet paper in somebody's house? Or uh, again, it's not the same thing. This is vandalism. This was, by the way, if I thought this was a homeless person who right. couldn't find a place to go to the bathroom, and I'll tell you another thing, if this was a uh, uh, let's say an undocumented immigrant who was working on a construction site and couldn't find a place to go to the bathroom. At this holiday season, I could find it in my heart to forgive them and forget about it. Okay. That's not what this was. This was a bitch who drove in her car directly to my house with a mission. And uh, she came wait, wait, wait. and... This is, this is a broad you're talking about? Yes! 
Oh, man, pursuit of the fullest. She man. pulled it. Oh, you didn't hear the show. She was wearing a black leather mini skirt, and she pulled that skirt down and peed on my front door. What a, what a classy lady. What a classy so lady. So I guarantee you I'm going to prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, as guys and stuff, you do a lot of dumb things as kids and things like that. But this is a grown-ass woman. I mean, come on, man. Right. That's ridiculous. Anyway, Tom, can uh, you blow me up old school? Yes, I can. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Richard on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? I'm okay. Hey, so I'm out of suggestions. Um, instead of offering a thousand dollars to the person who helps you uh, arrest and convict, I, I would suggest that you uh, offer a backstage pass to one of your events that you hold. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, they can have their choice, whichever they'd like. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I don't know how much difference it's going to make, but uh, if it makes a difference, great. I mean, first of all, you know, if somebody's got the information. Uh, call me and give it to me, and then we can talk about it. But uh, first, I need to talk to somebody who knows what happened. No, I understand. Thought I'd just throw it in there, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hey, I hate to call in, bitch, but you know what? I'm driving home from work. We just had a full-blown takeover robbery at our bank. They stole the wedding rings of a couple of my coworkers, and they stole about $275,000. And not to demean your, your deal, but it just seems like giving a $1,000 reward for somebody peeing on your door and taking your plants is just so minuscule. Well, if you'd like to give a $1,000 reward uh, to find the people who robbed uh, the people at your bank, go right ahead. Well, I'm sure our bank will. I just, you know, the human side of it is at least you, nobody actually physically did anything to you. Do you know what I mean? So what? No, I thought I'd get the sensitivity out of you that I did. Thanks. That's exactly what you get. Oh, yeah, there should be sensitivity about this. We should be sensitive this time of the year. We should be sensitive to the people who, who vandalize our homes and commit crime. Yes, we should be sensitive. Was that caller from Seattle? Probably so. <laughs> Tom Likas. one 800 800 tom Tom Likas. If it feels good, do it. That's my motto. Ah, uh, that's everybody's motto. Just about to listen to this show, Gabriel. The Tom Likas Show. Good 5 800 tom With a $1,000 reward out of my own pocket. For information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person who vandalized my home on Saturday. And stole my Christmas points out of your plans. Uh, you just call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM, or you can email your tip to tom at blowmeuptom.com. I guarantee you the person who did this is bragging about it to somebody. Let's see how much your friendship with that person is worth. Is it worth $1,000? <laughs> we'll find out. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Maureen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Uh, excuse me, I'm a little nervous. I'm a first-time caller mm. to your show. Uh-huh. And I just wanted to say, maybe if you weren't such like a braggart and a chauvinistic kind of guy, mm. you wouldn't have people peeing on your doorstep? Well, first of all, dear, I've been, I've, been show, I've been doing this show. I've been doing this show for a very long time, and no one has ever done any such thing. This is not some listener who's upset at my show. This is somebody who knows me. Oh, you, oh, is it really? I guarantee it. Knows you personally or knows who you, that you're or on the they've radio? they've met me or they know me or they are very close to someone who knows me. Maybe someone I dated, for example. Uh, can I ask you a question? My husband listened to your sh listens to your show and he got me listening and I, I don't agree with everything you say, but you do have a show to do. What is your uh, demographic? It isn't you. I, obviously not. I was just wondering. It's young men. Is it from what to what? 18 to 44. That's what I figured. But you do your job because you got me to call you up. That's right. That's my job. Right? I... And uh, good luck finding the person. Thank you. And your husband's a fan. That tells you something. <laughs> Bye, Tom. I'd be uh, making sure he's not buying luggage. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Rudy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hey, Tom. Brody. How's it going? Good. Hey, man, I was just listening to your show right now, man. And you know what? You should prosecute them all the way to the ground. I agree with everything you say. You know what? These people don't understand is that it's just not your law, man. You know what? It's something that you worked hard for. You know, there is a lot of haters out there, Tom, and you have, and you must have one out there. You know what? Another thing is that this lady that just called in saying that her her bank just got robbed and they got jacked for everything that they had. You know, come on. Oh, she has to be mad. I mean, right now she's talking like she ain't mad at all. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I do. <laughs> you know, trying to get the sensitivity out of you? No, come on. Let's say I work for five years straight, you know, trying to earn for a Ferrari, and somebody comes and vandalizes my car, I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's okay, you know what? Just leave it alone, I'll fix it. Of course not. You're going to be pissed because you work um, five years of your life trying to work hard in and out for a car that you own. And, you know, um, I agree with you, Tom. You know, you should get on them. I mean, Obviously. I have, look, I have construction sites on my neighborhood, and I know there are guys up there who work and maybe can't find a bathroom. If if it was somebody like that, somebody who was uh, not so well off, somebody who uh, just couldn't wait till the end of the work day, who was desperate, and it's Christmas, I can overlook it. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about somebody who drove directly to my house from who knows where walked right up to my door and defiantly pulled her skirt down and did this. Yeah, I get you, Tom, man. You know, it's just haters out there, just haters. And uh, you know what? No, no, it shouldn't even matter what, how much money you make or what you say on your show, you know, because you're always right. <laughs> and you tell it like it is. I mean, like, I respect you on that one, you know. And this lady, crazy, out of her mind. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. That's right. Yeah, so you should get on her, man. Get on her. Thank you, Rudy. All right, man. Take care. Appreciate the call. Angel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, First Angel. Of all, hi. One of your, as one of your supportive female listeners, I really think it's ridiculous that she took it to a level that she was that angry with you or whatever she decided to do, to go and do that. So I think you should prosecute her to the fullest. If you want to offer a reward, fine. Who are we to determine what amount reward? Because that's your hard-earned money. And to the previous caller from the bank, yes, it's it's horrible that the people's personal items got taken, but the damn bank money is insured anyway. Who cares? And it's a bank. It's a bank. It'll, it, they'll, they'll get that money replaced. The personal items, yeah, a little sympathy there. But how dare she compare your situation to a bank takeover? Hey, if the people who got robbed on our $1,000 rewards themselves, it's a free country. That's right. But and she's, Im she's, implying, she's implying that I should offer a, war, a reward for those people. No, that's not your problem. Right. You, don't, you know, we don't care. I would do the same thing. If I was in your position, I'd do the same thing. Because I wouldn't want to door it shouldn't have happened to you and to the female that did it it's probably best that she doesn't become an attorney because any attorney or anyone wanting to be an attorney that would take that risk is stupid anyway i want them representing me i agree angel good luck with everything i hope you get her thank you for the call one eight one eight bye bye one eight hundred five eight hundred tom is our telephone number pablo on the tom like his show hello Hey, Thomas, probably one of your booty calls or something, Tom. Well, go uh, guess what, Pablo? Tomorrow. Guess what? Uh, that was my first thought. Probably one of your booty calls. You had somewhere that she probably didn't, and you probably didn't call her or something. That's, that was my first thought. It's good thinking on your part. I mean, you but I have looked at this video. And... I have looked at this video a hundred times. You and got it real good. You got I it have. That booty, that booty I like have. Going, <laughs> that, that matter of fact, in the video, you can see her booty because okay, she's pulling well, up her skirt. You can see. Now, I would have recognized her by her ass. Well, there you go, man. Look, look but I do, I'm telling you, it. I have never tapped. That. Okay, well, we'll try to focus it there. And, uh, I'll try to focus a little that. better. Thank you. <laughs> try to try to focus it. <laughs> oh boy, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Bill on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. I've been listening to you for several years, and I've noticed one thing: you do speak your mind. I Obviously, do. This woman. If she, if you don't know who she is, she's either been stalking you, or she's belongs. She's a friend of a friend. 
Grayson, how many people know where you live? Oh, well, they, I, I believe it's somebody who's been to my home. And I do think I have a pretty good idea of who this is. And I am certainly having that person investigated. But uh, we're going to investigate every avenue here. And that's why I'm offering the $1,000. And um, I'm bringing this up on the air at the recommendation of the LAPD detective who recommended this because uh, he says we'll get, uh, if there are tips out there, we'll get a lot of tips. Yeah, you'll get a lot of tips, but, you know, you got to stop and think. What you talk about, and sometimes there's a lot of people who don't agree with you, and if this woman has been stalking you, for instance, and knows where you live, somebody might be taking a shot at your ass one of these days. Well, be bad. guess what? But my that, home, my you, home is true. being guard. My car, my home is being guarded six ways from Sunday. I hope so. And I hope uh, so, I'd love sir. nothing better than this woman to come back and try something again. I'd now, love it. I'm not talking about this woman. She did her damage what she wanted, but. I hope you are protected because you do raise a lot of good subjects. Well, of course I am. And I thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Victor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Great. Um, I just want to let you know that, that whoever did that to you, you know, um, they shouldn't be doing things like that. But if they did do it to you, because you deserve it. I mean, you spread out a lot of negativity, so it's going to come back to you. Well, actually, though, nobody deserves it because we have freedom of speech in this country, but we do not have freedom of grand theft and freedom freedom of vandalism. All right. Well, I I understand that point, but then again, you got to realize that you're a jerk. You know, so if it's going to happen, I can be it. But you see, I am constitutionally protected. I'm allowed to be a jerk, but you're not allowed to be a criminal. No doubt. But then there's there is no black and white at all gray area. Some of them might not feel that there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, whether it's against the law or not is not a gray area. It's a, What was done here was a crime, and uh, I'm going to prosecute. Um, hope it works out for you, Tom. What's that? Yeah, I hope it works out for you, man. Well, I, I hope it does, too. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ashley on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Well, um, I just thought, first wanted to say, I like your show, however, you're not my favorite person. But I have a few ideas about what possibly could be going on here. I think that this isn't stalking because if this was someone stalking you, they'd want to scare you and have the gratification of you being scared. If I had to guess, I'd think it was a family member. Uh, But here's the thing. My family doesn't live in California. Well, it really doesn't matter, though. They could come out of town. No, I, who's, I believe, who's I believe, I believe it is the family member of somebody I know. It is passion. It's out of passion. And yes. the holidays are driving it. People around the holidays start to reflect, right? So this is someone who's pissed off and steaming in their own stew and wanted to get you. And they're so happy that I'm sure that you've dedicated an entire radio show to this. They probably are, but we'll see how happy they are when I catch them. You deserved it, Tom. You really think so, huh, dear? I totally think that you deserved it because you... Well, first of all, you can't use that word on the air. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a a violation of federal law. You can't use that word on the air, no matter what you think. That. All right, And that includes any other vulgarity or obscenity. You can't use them on the air. I won't use them. Have you ever heard of the FCC? Um, yes, darling. This is a radio show. Yes, okay. You can't talk like a sailor on here. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Right? That's number I just, one. I think that I think that I think you deserved it. I don't think that a man who does what you do should get away with it. And I think that What I do I mean, what I do is protected by the United States Constitution. You're uh urinating wrong. on someone's Oh no, I'm not wrong. I said right. Oh, I'm absolutely right. Urinating on my front door is not protected by the United States Constitution. Stealing hundreds of dollars worth of property is not protected by the United States Constitution. I love it. Are you gay? I mean, only a guy would be upset about poinsettia plants. Doesn't matter. Because if I have a chance to put this bitch behind bars, I'm going to. Oh, so you're upset because someone stole your plan? Oh, no, dear. I, darling, don't, don't get it wrong. I'm not upset because this girl is going to prison. Wow, you're so funny. This was someone really Laugh it up, dear. 
This is somebody really smart. They must know you well. Well, we'll see how smart they are if I catch them. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, maybe you could go over to Denny's and load up on some pancakes. There we go. 1-800-5800. Another bitter bitch. There are many of you out there. I would love to get your hands on my, the keys to my vault, but you'll never get it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, I think you should uh, put the video on the Internet and make money off of it. And well, then... I am I am trying to do that. Uh, the problem is that uh, we haven't figured out how to convert it to a format people can watch. Uh, and as soon as we do that, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to make it available. That's great, because then when she comes forward, you got your girl. That's right. All right, thanks, Tom. Thank you. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. I've offered a thousand dollar reward if you know who peed on my front doorstep. And your information leads to their arrest and conviction. If you know, call me. Hey there, Tom, Dino, Gary, and Art. This is Aaron from the <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> calling to wish you all a happy holidays and to let you know that I'm glad that you're here. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. From an unnamed movie studio in Hollywood. Uh, Where they produce some big time television programs and we've gone to the heavy hitters. Although I can't tell you the show, and I can't tell you what studio we're at. Uh, We've got a video expert here who is going to try to help us make this uh, video file available for our website. And uh, my plan is to post this on the website so you can get a good look at this. 1-800-5800-TOM, in case you're just tuning in. Today I offered a $1,000 reward out of my home pocket. For information leading to the arrest and conviction of the chick who came and urinated on my front door and then uh, took all my plants. Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Tony. How's it going? Great. Uh, um, huge fan, and I always agree with you, and I definitely agree with you today because it's the principality of the whole situation. How are you going to let just some person come into your property and do whatever the hell they want? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I agree with you all the time, and especially today, because I know that I was in your shoes. I'd be doing the same thing, or I'll probably send the boys out to look for them. You should just let Dino out, let, let that bitch out. <laughs> That's what I do. Well, believe me, if I, uh, if I knew who it was, I'd send Dean out there to enforce the law. No doubt about it. Get it with the Louisville Slugger. You know, we, well, we got your back, too, Tommy, so um, just take me out. Michael Vick, and want to snoop. All right, here you go. Thanks, Tom. Huh? I don't know what happened. Sounds like getting up cut or something. Where'd it go? Anyway, sound effect cut out. Sorry about that, but uh, I see Vigilante Justice has phoned in now. 1-800-5800-TOM. Marcos on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing? How you doing, Dad? Doing great, son. Hey, um, long time, first time. Thank you. Hey, listen to your show right now, and it, I was listening to that crazy chick that called and said that you deserved it. You know what? By by listening to her, it sounded like she might be the one that did it. She had an awful lot of stuff that she knew about it, and Boy, it seemed like she was kind of pressuring you into not filing charges. But I, I will put it this way: I don't. I, I, I saw the video. This is not somebody I've ever had sex with. It's not somebody I've dated. I can tell you that for sure. Hmm. That I can tell you. And then what I don't, what I still don't understand: if they don't agree with you, why don't they change the station? Well, I agree with you. Uh, they don't, but I have a feeling this has nothing to do with anything I said on the air. I don't believe this is a listener. I don't believe this person is related to a listener. Well, well I hope you catch this, this crazy chick and uh, do me a favor. Take me out Tupac style. Tupac style? Don't you remember that? That's a bong hit and a drive-by. Nobody's asked for that in a long time. I guess we'll have to create one for you. It's 
1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Dwight on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Dwight. For a uh, long time, was your first-time caller. Thank you. Yes. Uh, hey, going back to Friday and uh, what you said about your dumbass newspaper guy. Yeah. You sure it's not his wife or girlfriend? Well, you know what? I certainly am passing that information along to my uh, detective at LAPD. That was the first thought I had before I figured out who I thought it might be. Uh, I don't know if that person has a wife, and I wouldn't know what she looked like if I did, but uh, that is certainly one of the things I have told the detective. Hell, it could be even be his mom. <laughs> yeah, and and I wouldn't tip the guy either. They, they, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys you talk about all the time uh -huh. that gets stuck in a marriage with a bunch of kids, and then as soon as the wife gets the promotion, you're out. Yeah. And that happened to me, and so I'll be delivering newspapers until I'm dead to pay child support. <laughs> But if a guy is good at it, tip him. But this guy's ridiculous. He is ridiculous. He doesn't stop your paper when you're gone. He hits the door. I mean, a good news carrier, you know, uh, would protect you from this kind of person, too. Well, to me, a good newspaper carrier uh, would uh, uh, not deliver papers when I'm not there because I'm concerned about my security. Exactly. Well, and in fact, you could sue if you were, uh, if you got uh, robbed while you were gone, you could sue them. And don't think I wouldn't. Oh, I know you would. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tom. Take me out Helen Keller style. Helen Keller style. What would that be? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. No, that wouldn't be Helen Keller style. This would be Helen Keller style. Uh, 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 uh. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Jason. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Jason? Nate on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm okay. All right, good. Hey, uh, first thing is, is that uh, if I were you, I would actually have that girl come in, and I would interview her, because I think everybody wants to know why they were stupid enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I mean, I think that it would benefit you more and you get better ratings because everybody wants to know why she was a moron. Well, I'd certainly love to hear what she has to say. So, I mean, you know, I would think that uh, you could see this as a silver lining for you. And I would well, never come in. it's already a silver lining because look at all the grist for the mill it's provided here. Well, okay, I, I, I have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Honestly, for her to do that, she's only proving all the points you've been saying all along. That's exactly right. Because, I, I mean, you know, you sit here and you say this, and, you know, you got these girls that call in and try to defend themselves and defend uh, feminizing and women and all that stuff, and, and look what happens. You are. Yeah, people like, yeah, you have people like this that, that prove your point. You are absolutely right. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Jerry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are we going? Not bad. Tom, um, you know what I think we should all do? I think we should all hang our heads for just a minute for the poor guy that might be married to that psycho bitch that piped up in defense of the woman who peed on your front. <laughs> because that poor guy is married to the craziest woman I've ever heard. And quite honestly, that woman sounds like the type that would put a little lighter fluid on it and light it on fire and put that on your porch. So keep an eye out for that, my brother. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Christy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm also a long-time listener, first-time caller. Yeah. I just have a comment about um, the chick that told you that you deserved it. Yes. Um, I think she's a psycho pseudo-Dr. Phil, and I hate when people call in to complain about you because they she obviously said that she listens to your show right um so yeah that that just uh that that really irks me but um you know she was saying that that you 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 go out and you tell people you know to do these horrible things to other people or that you give bad advice when i you don't go in people's lawns you don't you know i mean it's uh you don't do that and anybody that does that needs to be um well anybody and not only do they deserve to have consequences but you know
The fact is, it's a free country as far as free speech. If, if you want to write me a letter and say what a jerk I am, or if you want to knock on my door and then tell me what a jerk you think I am, you have every right to do that. You have exactly. every right to do that. When you pee on my front door and run away and hope you don't get caught, here's what you're saying. I don't have an argument. I don't have a case to be made. I'm immature and emotional, and this is the only way I know how to express myself. Exactly. With and you're I'm also in. psychotic. Right. And this woman proves, if this woman is offended by anything I say on the air, she proves everything I say about women. Everything. Yeah. She, she puts a bad name out there for us, Tom. So. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tom. Blow me up. Here you go, baby. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Mohammed on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Mr. Tom. How are you, sir? I'm okay, Mohammed. I really, first, I want to wish you guys all in the station a happy holidays. Thank you. You are a great human being. You are one of the greatest men I ever talked to, and I listen to your station, and I love the way you put it in. Thank you so much. You know, I feel very bad for the psycho lady, whoever did that to your house or did that to you. It's just a typical California woman, man. They are psychos. They are beautiful from outside, and they are sick from inside. Simple as that. Has that been your experience in California? Well, this is my experience in California. They look very great, but they are sick from inside. Simple as Their brain is sick. That's the sickness in their head. They can't take it out. I understand. It's just It's too bad. They look very beautiful, makeup, but I love it. It's just you. You look at them, they are the greatest looking women, and from inside, deep inside their heart, they are sick, they are sick in their brain. Well, when I find... Yeah, when I, when I find... 99.9% .9 of the women in California are psychos. When I find this woman, she's going to prison. Well, I, I hope she do, and I hope you find her. I hope I do, too. Thank you, Mohammed. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Luis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. I just want to say, man, I enjoy hearing you telling off those dumb ladies. And this is one that peed on your on your front door. I don't, I don't think she's even considered a lady, man. Well, I certainly don't consider her a lady. I consider her a bitch. Bitch, man. Well, pretty soon she's going to be a bitch behind bars. Yep. She's going to be a nice, fresh fish. Whoever knows who this is is going to take my thousand bucks and tell me. And I hope you find them. Take me out with a bong hit, man. Here you go, Louise. Thanks, Tom. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Chad on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Chad. Hey, hey, Tom. Hey. How's it going? Great. Uh, I'm a long, long time listener, first time caller. Thank uh, you for I calling. Support you, I support you through, through thick and thin. And uh, this lady was crazy, first of all, for doing this. She knows she was going to get caught. But, Tom, you got to be a smart man. You're wasting your time. She's going to get picked up and maybe two or three months behind jail, behind bars. That's okay. That's all it takes. But, Tom, you, you know, you rather go through all that stress of finding the woman. Yep. Other than just... Because you want to know on. something, Chad? I enjoy this. I, I know you do. <laughs> I love it. That's why I'm doing it, because I love it. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking a side or anything. You know, I support you through whatever. But, you know, you know, just forget about it. I mean, she stole your plans. You know, if next time she come around, I say stick a dog on her ass or something, you know? <laughs> I wish I had a dog to sink on her. Thank you, Chad, for the call. Well, if you know the name of this person who peed up my front door, stole my potted plants, write to me at Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com The Tom Likas Show.